Okay, so the next question is, are BCAAs and whey protein the same? They're good for your workout, right? Uh, well, yes, they are good for your workout. Let me explain what is BCA. BCA stands for branch chain amino acids, okay? So amino acids are what uh, are the building blocks of protein. So if you take protein, you break it down, and you break it down even further, proteins are muscles, okay, by the way, muscle tissues. And uh, you break it down, hey, sorry, proteins are not muscle tissues, sorry. Muscle tissues are made of protein. So when you eat meat, okay, it is made of protein and water and certain other nutrients, and you break it down into its component, break that protein down, it becomes amino acid. Branched chain amino acid is a supplement that instead of, you know, you, the idea is that instead of you having to uh, drink whey protein and um, have your body break it down, it comes already broken down for you. So that's branch chain amino acids in simple terms. So uh, what, what, how, how different is that? What does that do for you? It means that this amino acid goes into your bloodstream way faster than just whey protein. But uh, the key distinguishing feature is that uh, uh, branch chain amino acid tend to have very low calories. You have like 20, 30 calories, sometimes 40 calories. Uh, whereas protein, whey protein, pure 100% whey protein is normally about 120 calories, maybe 110 to 130. Uh, if, you're, if you're drinking Simta 6, that's about 200 calories. So yeah, um, they're both good for your workout, but they are not the same. And uh, when, how you take it depends on you. Here, let me give you a simple tip. Um, some people, they, they drink, uh, when do you take BCAA? Some people take BCAA during the workout to prevent muscle loss. But if you're a beginner, you're just starting out in fitness, you don't have to worry so much about all those things. Stop complicating things. Um, those people who do that are, tend to be high-level bodybuilders and they use it as intro workout. If you're not um, of a certain level, it's, uh, it really doesn't matter whether you do it or not. And whereas for, and, and some people use it before, uh, as a, instead of having more protein throughout the day, they would have uh, whey protein. They also do that as well. Some people do it uh, when they are on an intermittent fasting diet. I mean, if you are doing a 16-8 ratio of fasting and eating, uh, fasting and feeding, so normally they tend to work out before they feed. So if you're about, if you're just, if you just fasted 16 hours and you needed to, you needed to train, you gotta make sure that those muscles do not burn. And that is when it matters to drink BCAA uh, during the workout um, because you just fasted 16 hours or maybe even 20 hours. Some, some, some intermittent fasting is 20 hours. So yeah, so that's how you use BCAA. Um, and as for protein, uh, you can use it in any, any number of ways. You can use it uh, in the morning after you wake up. You can use it mm, during your workout, before your workout, after your workout, right before you go to bed. There are so many different, different ways of using whey protein. Um, but if you're, again, if you're just starting out, stop complicating it. Just make it very, very simple because life is already so complicated and um, we don't want to make fitness complicated as well. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. And uh, if you're an advanced bodybuilder, uh, you wouldn't be watching this channel anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I hope that answers your question. Did, uh, did that answer that question? Okay, cool, let's go cool. move on to the next one.